Hello, my name is Rodrigo Polo and today is Tuesday, September 25, 2018. This is what the United Nations don't want you to know. Most Guatemalans want a real fight against corruption and some left-wing politicians trick us into believe that an agreement with the UN will provide that. This is how they created the Commission Against Impunity. And almost 11 years later, we're still having the same issues. Did the UN told you that Ivan Velasquez y Sik did an illegal raid on the president's residency? This case has no responsible accountable. Did the UN told you about the beating of a young man by Sisik foreign agents? This case has not been prosecuted. Did the UN told you that while Sisik made a raid, a person called Pavel Centeno died of two gun wound and they claim that he committed suicide? Did the UN told you that these cases and many other cases were denounced in the United Nations to the Secretary General Antonio Guterres without him addressing these issues? These are some of the few reasons why our president declared Ivan Velasquez persona non grata. Did the UN told you that Sisik prosecuted no one on the drug money received by the UNEPARI by the Zetas? Did the former president of the International Socialist, a currently Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, ever told you that the UNEPARI presidential candidate, Sandra Torres, was also former Vice President of the International Socialist Party? Did the UN ever told you that all human rights organizations here and even there are full of left-leaning actors and they don't care about any human rights violations against anyone? but left-leaning actors. Had any of these organizations say something about the right-wing journalist Jose Daniel Rodriguez? Not a word, anything, nada. Did the UN told you that most of their politicians are aligned and founded by the Open Society Foundations of George Soros? Just like most of the NGOs here that support Ivan Velasquez. Did the UN ever told you that most of our media is sponsored by Open Society Foundations of George Soros? How are you supposed to know what is really happening here if all of our media obey George Soros? Did the UN ever told you that Ivan Velasquez is was pushing constitutional reforms in our country that supports gender politics an abortion? Did the UN have ever told you how much US taxpayer money has been expended by CCIG and by USAID to push these reforms in our country? Money to create a lawfare state. It's funny how all these far-left politicians talk about consensual sex all the time with the Me Too movement. And don't get me wrong, I support the idea that all sexual relations have to be consensual. I support the idea that no means no. But you know what also has to be consensual? International agreements. So let me be clear, former president of the International Socialist and currently Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. No means no. Well-informed Guatemalans who are not part of the source agenda support our president's decision. A decision to forbid Ivan Velasquez forever entering our country. We really want a fight against corruption. A real fight against corruption and not the persecution of any of the opposition of the left. A fight against corruption that doesn't require the imposition of a third party agendas. We are tired of the lawfare state. We are tired of lies and lack of solutions. Antonio Guterres, respect our democracy. If you like this message, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment and share it with your friends. As always, my social networks are on the screen. Hope you like this video. See you later.